Hey guys, it is the Bookworm 21. Uh, I do have a new book review for you. Now, here's the thing with this book review. I got into this series called Nita Blake Vampire Hunter years ago. Uh, got pretty far into it. So far, there's 21 books in the series. Um, got about 10 books in and stopped reading it. Well, went to pick it up again a couple months later and didn't remember anything. So I'm rereading the series. And I want you to come along on this journey with me. And I'm going to give reviews on each of the books. So sit back, get comfortable, because it's going to be a long journey. Um, so far, I'm on the first, I finished the first book. And the first book is Guilty Pleasures. Okay, by Laurel K. Hamilton. Now, this is the old school cover uh, when this was written back in 93. Um, nowadays, if you go out and buy this exact copy, it's more of a simplistic, like a, a black and white rose. It's, it's more artistically covered. Um, these, personally, I think are great. I love them a lot more. Uh, when you get past the 10th um, book, I think they go into the newer covers. Um, okay. Well, uh, Guilty Pleasures, the whole story centers on a um, zombie raiser, someone who raises zombies, an animator, named Anita Blake. And she lives in St. Louis, Missouri. And set in the present day, um, she is an animator. She raises the dead. She works for Animators Inc. She also has supernatural, pre, preternatural powers. She has an affinity with the dead. She can tell how old vampires are. Um, and as the story goes along, she does develop more powers. Now, in her world, vampires and werewolves and werelepers and were-tigers and zombies and spirits, they're all real. So your neighbor could be a werewolf, your your teacher could be a were leopard, the librarian down the street could be a vampire. I mean it's just that's how it is. And so she is on retainer with the cops to get um to give her expertise on the local vampire murders that have been happening in the area. Um and she meets the owner of a vampire strip club named Jean Claude. And the, of course, the, the the strip club is called Guilty Pleasures. So um, she meets Jean Claude, and he's thousands of years old, and she can't really tell his age. And they're, you know, he's very sexy, and he's French, and he likes her, and she's she she's attracted to him, but she's like, ugh, I don't date vampires, gross, you know, I I kill them, I don't date them. So he's just using his charm to get to her. Um, and that's going to change over the series. I'll give you a little hint, wink, wink. Um, it does get better as it goes along. <laughs> so, um, she goes out to find the, the vampire murders. She meets the master of the city. Each city has a master vampire that controls the vampires. You know, there's a master of Utah, there's a master of Provo, there's a master of California, Las Vegas, blah, 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 that sort of thing. Um, and the master of the city is a thousands and thousands of year old vampire named Nicholas. And Nicholas was turned as a vampire when she was about 11 or 12. And she plays that part of that sweet little child, but then she's a demonic freak. So reading about her was great. Um, so anyway, throughout the story, she meets a stripper at the club who's a vampire junkie. And that means he likes to get bitten by vampires. And his name is Philip. And Philip and her go throughout the story to help find the murderer. And they find the murderer, but during the course of that, Philip is murdered by the vampires as punishment. And they bring her back as a zombie. See, the thing with Anita, you piss her off, you're gonna go down. Anita knows how to fight and weapons, and Anita's hardcore. She's not no girl in the, the corner. She, she'll she bring a flamethrower and torture her butt. So she's a very strong female. I love her. So her and her friend, 
Edward, who is a zombie vampire killer, but he's more ruthless. He's not as nice as Anita. And they call him Death. And they call Anita the Executioner. They take down the vampires and save the city and put John claude in the role of um, Master of the City. And she helps Philip. She puts Philip back in his grave and puts him at peace. And it's very sad and touching. Uh, this book is a definite buy. The whole series is a definite buy. You will love it. You will read it over and over and over and over and over. Also, I recommend to you people out there, read this and then go out and buy the complete comic book series. Yes, my friends. Yes, my friends. They are doing a comic book series of all the Anita Blake books, which is fabulous because reading is one thing, but to see the artwork is another. The artwork is so good, and it's not one of these girly, girly comics. It's actually what it is in the book is what it is in the comic. Adult content and all. Sexually, language, violence, it's all good. So go out and buy it and keep re waiting for my other reviews of the rest of the series. And I will get to them. So until then, keep reading.